one of them grabbed my booty, but it was a mistake. <laughs> yeah, it was a mistake. <laughs> I'm picking. What? Why are you doing it so slow? What are you talking about? It's oh my god! <laughs> what? Are you serious? Yeah. Why are you doing it the hard way? What's the this? I didn't know there was a way easier than this. <laughs> what? Oh. Look. Oh my god! That's how I pick them. <laughs> are you serious? Yeah, why? Oh, honey, but the, the, the other guys do it so much faster. What other guys? Our workers. Are you bothering the workers again? <laughs> huh? Yes. What are you doing with the workers? I was filming. I want to do a little video. Honey, leave them alone. They're here just trying to do their job. They were very happy to see me, yeah. I have to say. Did you go up in the cherry picker again? I did. <laughs> oh, my. <laughs> oh my God. Go slow. <laughs> oh my God. I have never seen my form so from above. This is amazing. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah. Wow. That's how it is. The avocados, they go in the truck. Amazing. Well, what am I, I doing I, this I for? Why I, don't you I, just ask them to pick a bunch for me? You know what? You're right. I'm sorry. I should do that. I have to say that, listen, huh. you might need to talk to one of them because by accident, one of them grabbed my booty. But it was a mistake. <laughs> yeah, it was a mistake. <laughs> did, he use, did he measure it? Did he get out his little thing and, like, measure it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. yeah. That was my wife, Noelia. She's sniping content right out from under me. She sees I have this YouTube channel. She wants to get in on the act. Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Well, I live in an avocado farm and today my pickers are getting all the avocados to get them out there and sell it to you. But also today I'm going to show you how to do a great workout with avocados because we have them ready, they're here. She used to have her own TV show, and I, I don't know, I guess she misses the limelight. You know, she wants to get in on some of this avocado fame. Ellos hacen 10 minutos de cada ejercicio. Se vean, se vean unos resultados muchísimo más. El niño se le sube el azúcar en la sangre. Si quiero mostrarte el de Sofía, el de Sofía, fíjate, aquí tenemos una bolsita, ¿verdad? Tiene nueces. But her and our friends and some of my family members, they're always teasing me, you know? They're always busting me like, Tom, why do you do everything by hand? You know, get yourself a tractor, get yourself a, a little trailer for the back, get a golf cart, whatever. But I, I like to I like to do things manually. You know, this is a, a, a manual picker. You can pick your fruit one one fruit at a time. It's on a telescoping stick so I can get the stuff that's up really high. And when you guys place your orders on guacfarm.com, G-U-A-C-F-A-R-M.com, when you guys place your orders for 10 pounds of avocados, I come out here and I hand pick them. So there we go. That fruit will be boxed up and it'll be on its way to one of you guys later this afternoon. But I tell them, no, I, I, I like coming out like this. You know, it makes me, it's hard to explain, but it picking these things by hand, it, it, it makes me feel connected to the trees, it makes me feel connected to the farm, and it makes me feel connected to you guys. You know, I, I see a nice I see like a ratty piece of fruit, I say, okay, one of my subscribers doesn't deserve that, but I see like a nice big shiny, nice fat plump avocado like this guy here. And I feel good knowing that I picked this by hand, I'll put it here in my wheelbarrow. And that in about a week and a half, one of you guys will be eating that thing. And the other thing, working out here by hand, it, it keeps me in shape, it keeps me fit. I mean, all this doesn't happen by accident. With the human body, it's move it or lose it, right? That's what I like about the subscribers to this channel. You guys are out there every day getting dirty, you're bending down, you're digging in the ground, you're planting things, you're going out, you're picking things. It's physical work. It's work you do out in the sun, and it keeps you in shape. 
And I just feel like if I broke down and got myself a little four-wheeler or a little golf cart or even one of these cherry pickers that I'd be, uh, I don't know, I'd be kind of allowing Mother Nature's process to run its course, you know, like my health would erode. But actually, Noelia's right. For the commercial side, for the, for the picking we do to send to the packing house, I could never pick, you know, thousands, tens of thousands of fruit one at a time. We'd never get anything out to the packing house. Hola, ¿cómo estás? Hola. Muy bien. Tú eres uno de mis trabajadores. Cuéntame, ¿qué estás haciendo hoy? Oh, hoy estoy piscando el aguacate, le dicen el cimo. Ay. Tú decimo, este, estamos piscando aquí hoy, primer día, empezamos aquí. Ay. Ya la segunda pista. Fantástico, vi que estás usando como algo para sacar el aguacate. Muéstrame qué es. Oh, tenemos una medida para medir cada aguacate. Que sea, como primera pizca es otra medida. Ya ah. este, la primera pizca es 4-4 y esta, la segunda pizca es 4-1. Okay, perfecto. Bueno, déjame traducir. This is my worker, and then he said that he's using that metal thing to measure the uh, avocados. And uh, and today he's first day working for us, and he's pretty excited. <laughs> For those of you who don't speak Spanish, what he said was today they're picking Simmons avocados. He meant to say Choquette. I think he got confused with Simmons and our last name, which is Siddons. The Simmons avocados were a few months ago, but they're picking Choquette avocados. And he showed this device. This is what they use to measure the diameter of the fruit. Because the way this works is the Department of Agriculture tells us at what date and at what size we can... Holy shit, there's big giant dogs running through the farm. Out of here get get where was I ah picking schedule okay so here's how it works the Department of Agriculture tells us when we can pick each variety and what the minimum diameter has to be just to give you an idea of the picking schedule and I'm sorry I had to come in the garage because look it's raining really hard I don't mind me getting wet but the camera doesn't deal with it all that well so we get a shipping schedule every year so I'll just I'll read a few off here I'll actually let me put it up as a graphic you see here, like, these are, are some of the common varieties, right? So a, a Simmons avocado, for example, we couldn't start selling those until the 22nd of June, and they had to be 3 inches and 9 sixteenths, so just a little over 3 and a half inches. So what you do is you go through your, your little measures, and you actually size up your fruit. And so you find the one that's 3 and 9 sixteenths, and you, you, you pick your Simmons accordingly. And then, let's see... Then on July 6th, so about two, two and a half weeks later, you could go down to three inches and seven sixteenths. Then on July 20th, so 14 days later, you could go down to three inches and one sixteenth. So let me read off a few that you might be, you might be growing at home. So Simmons and Pollock, you start picking those the last week of June. Bernickers are common down here, that's July 20th. Walden's, you start picking the first week of August. Choquette, as I said, the last week of September. Hall, the last week of September. Lou, Lula, the first week of October. Monroe, another common Florida variety. You start picking those this year on the 9th of November. You might have a Donnie. You could start picking those the last week of May. They're a very early season avocado. Now if you don't know what variety avocado you grow, take a picture and send it to me. You can get my email from the channel contact information. Take a picture and send it to me and I'll try to identify it. Or just go to Google Images. You know, they, they have very distinct characteristics and you can maybe identify it yourself. And if I didn't mention yours, if it's not on the schedule I showed, just Google the picking schedule for your variety of avocado and that's how you'll know when the fruit in your backyard is ready to eat. So there you have it, a little glimpse into the picking process, right? Most of you are backyard growers. You have two or three or four avocado trees grown in the yard, and you're going to pick them by hand, or you're going to get up on a ladder. But I suggest get yourself one of these telescoping sticks. You know, go out onto Amazon, get yourself one or two of these baskets. They're only like 11 bucks or something like that. And if you keep your tree like 20 to 20 feet high, you'll be able to get your fruit with a combination of this stick and maybe just a little step ladder. You won't have to go up really, really high. Now, if you'd rather skip all that and go right to the fruit, get yourself a 10-pound box of these at guacfarm.com. G-U-A-C-F-A-R-M.com. Our fruit's in season. You can get it now. 
You can put your name on the list for a pre-order of trees that we're shipping in spring. And if you like these t-shirts, get yourself a t-shirt. As is often the case at the end of these videos, I got a big rainstorm coming. So while you go out to guacfarm.com, I'm going to run in the garage and start filling your orders. And I'll see you on the next video.